And on the seventh day, Mike was overjoyed. Ah. Broccoli, carrot, oranges. Let's do it. Wow, that is a <laughs> that is a close fit. Big old glass of juice this morning. There you go, drip all over the side. So broccoli, carrot, and orange. Ugh, I can taste far too much broccoli in that one. <clears throat> well, I am starving. And I'm going to need my energy to clean up that. So, um, whoops. Uh, cheers. <sighs> Listen to that sound. It's almost soothing. Well, that and it is making me really need to go to the toilet because I've drunk loads again to try and fill myself up. But it's now half twelve in the afternoon. So it's lunchtime, on this miserable day, with me feeling miserable, but also excited because two more juices, and then I'm never going to drink juice ever again. The penultimate juice! Yes! And we have apple, grapefruit, and a very small amount of ginger. Because I'm sensible like that this time. Let's go. I can certainly smell the ginger. If I if nothing else. So here we go. Second to last drink. Grapefruit, apple and ginger. Bottoms up. Mm. There is a very, very small hint of ginger. It's quite tart. And the grapefruit. And you've got the apple in there. And it has separated like some sort of weird beer. But that's really good actually. It's probably the nicest one I've had this entire week. Way to end on a high, I suppose. Although, um, well, I th maybe I'm speaking a little bit too soon because I do have one juice left. <sighs> I can't wait for dinner. Just look at that. Just How is that in any way convenient? You've got one, two, three, four, five, six bits, which all get caked in crap from the juice, from the fruit. It's absolutely a pain in the arse. And people who say they are happy to do this three times a day or more are just liars. Just gonna say that, put it out there, don't lie. It's starting to get dark, which means it's dinner time, which means I've got one more juice meal left. Which means, I'm so happy. And yes, as some of the keen-eyed amongst you have pointed out, there was one recipe from the infomercial which I didn't actually try out, which is squash, tomato, potato, cucumber and celery. So, why not end this glorious, glorious week on a high and make another fucking recipe with a potato? Ugh. Let's get this over and done with. Shit. Stop. Please no more. Please stop coming out because you're about to overflow. Crap. Well, at least I've got a big meal for my last one. And that looks absolutely god-awful. Mmm, delicious. Right, let me get a spoon. Hmm. Oh, Christ. Well, according to the infomercial, this was delicious. Certainly doesn't look it. this. Actually, that's cheating, isn't it? Shit.
I hate celery as well, but it's a goddamn hundred times better than that bollocks. That woman in that information, I don't even know her name, but she was a liar and a cheat and a fraud. Because that is an abomination of a drink. It's the worst thing I've ever tasted. Fucking... Well, this has just ruined my day, to be honest. Ruined. Well, that's left a really crappy taste in my mouth. Literally. What an awful, awful way to end this week. I mean, I had some decent juices today, but then that last one was Satan's semen. To be honest, it was awful. Why would anyone think juicing a potato is a good idea? It tastes foul. Now I am hungry and pissed off and miserable. Basically, this has been one of the worst week ons that I've done. Probably the worst week on that I've done. I just feel like absolute hell on earth. The only reason I've got so much energy now is because I'm so fucked off with that last recipe. Fucking awful. This is a really bad idea for a diet. It's expensive is the, the one of the worst things. I don't want to think about how much I've spent this past week on fruit and veg just to throw most of it away. It's time consuming with all the juicing and the preparing of the bloody stuff. That Jack LaLanne power juicer is an absolute hassle. You have to clean the bloody... Yeah, there are like, what, six pieces to it. You have to clean them all individually and it cakes it. It's not just like there's a few little dribbles, there's a few little... No, it's caked in the shit. Absolutely caked in it. I'm starving. There is not a good thing I can think of to say about anything with this diet. Do not bother doing it. Unless I've lost seven stone or 500 pounds, which would be amazing because I'd be a ghost. When I jump on them scales tomorrow, I'm not interested in even thinking about this last week ever again. But the proof is in the pudding, or not as it would be. The proof is in the shitty, horrible juice with potato in it. So I guess the last thing to do is jump on the scales. But before I do, let me just reiterate. Do not do a juice diet. You will be miserable. You will be poor and you will be miserable. But will you be thinner? Let's jump on the scales. Well, here we go. I was 188 pounds when I started this, so was all that pain and suffering worth it? A hundred and seventy. Oh my god. Holy crap. What is that? It's like 11 pounds. Oh shit. That's a bit... yeah, that's a little drastic for one week. Oh god. Okay, well, it's effective, but I feel like shit. So um, I'd advise against it, still. Totally not worth it, because I'm going to go on holiday next week for a few days, and I'm sure that's all going to come piling back on. Can't wait.